How to use React without a framework. So the other day I wanted to use React to enhance a simple Reveal.js slides presentation in the static website, but I didn't want to have to use a whole framework like Next.js, including all the building and transpilation that comes with it. I wanted to write React components using pure JavaScript so that I could rapidly prototype ideas like making reusable slide templates. At first, I considered writing my own web components without React, but that was a little too bare metal for me and would have taken more time than I wanted to spend just writing DOM manipulation code. I had to overcome three big challenges. One, accessing the React library from a live or downloaded bundle without the NPM command line, two, getting everything to work purely with ESM modules in the browser, and three, generating component HTML without having to transpile JSX with tools like Babel. For the first two challenges, this proved to be rather straightforward to solve thanks to some hints I found in an article. I'll link to it in the description for this video on YouTube. I could easily plug React into my ESM modules by leveraging support for the import maps script type that lets me tell the browser about external libraries that I can then import as normal modules. I opted to use the JS Package Manager tool to easily pick my packages and generate all the necessary code. All I had to do was drop in what it generated, and I was all set. With the first two issues resolved, the hardest part was figuring out how to mix HTML and JavaScript code without having to do plain old DOM manipulation. It turns out this also wasn't that hard to do thanks to another article I found on the Dev Community blog. By taking advantage of the tagged templates feature of JavaScript and the HTM library, I could write HTML in JavaScript pretty easily and use all the string interpolation goodness I was already used to. There's even a VS Code plugin that gives you beautiful syntax highlighting for your templates so that it feels like you're working with normal JSX. And the best part is the syntax doesn't look that much different while being even more flexible. You can check out a fully working demo via GitHub to get a sense for how everything ties together. Now, although this was a lot of fun for me, I wouldn't recommend you do this for building production apps. However, this is great for making rapid prototypes and proof of concept projects. So try it out, tell me what you think, and don't forget to subscribe for more where you can learn stuff like